What's going on, Cannonballs? What is going on, Cannonballs, on this cold night? Um, I just came in for a short, quick second. Just to really mm, ramble a little bit. Just to ramble, just a little tad bit. Oh. So, you guys, I made a decision today that I was no longer going to be doing a certain type of job. But it's only temporarily. It's not permanently permanently but i think i need this for my mental health because i'm trying to juggle out three things at the same time and i can't do it because well i can do it but at the same time i don't have enough time i don't have i don't have enough me time and i don't have enough time to be around my loved ones that want to be around me and because they are up in age and they really feel some type of way they feel like i don't want to come around anymore and it's so sad to hear them call me and their voices are just kind of just like really, really down because they're not seeing enough time for me. So I think I'm making the right decisions, the right decision, you know, even though I, I love to make money, but family is, is, is important too. you know, family, spending time with people that's, that's still around that's in their 70s and 60s and 50s and 40s and even 30s too that you may not talk to all the time. It's good to be around them. And um, I was listening to Prissy P talk, and well, I think it was her husband talking. And he just say, you know, you gotta go where the money is, where the, where the, you know, where you, where you, well, really, basically he was saying he quit a job because they was doing more work than getting paid. And that's what I feel like I've been getting for the past couple of months now. I've been getting, I've been making money, but I haven't been making as much money, but I've been doing a lot of work. And it's starting to, you know, it's, it's a strain on my damn body. And I don't want to sound lazy or, or or ungrateful, but I got to do I gotta do what's best for me, you know. And if you want me to work for you, you got to pay me. And sometimes this may sound so bad, but that was a point. And I don't want to sound so ignorant when I say this, because I said once upon a time in high school that I did not, I did not, I, I don't like working with our people sometimes. Because I feel like our people... They try to get over on you. You know, they want you to work lesser hours and pay you a certain amount of change. But they would, but then, they, but on the flip side, they want to work you longer hours and still pay you less amount of change. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's a hundred dollars in today's time? That's no money. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really no money in that. You know, when I was younger, maybe eighteen, nineteen. I was making a good amount of money just by cutting some grass, you know, but now that's changed. And now that I got a new gig on the, on the, on the side, the money is up and down and it's just like, it's changed. And like, am I going to be paid the same amount for the amount of work that I did? Or am I, am I going to be paid a shorter amount for the certain amount of work that I did? You know, and that's where I'm at. You know, it just really, it's affecting my moods and it's making me irritated. To the point where I'm just ready to just go MIA and let people, I don't want to let people down, but sometimes you got to, you know, let them down. You got to say no. You know, ain't nothing wrong with saying no. Because I have, I have had a struggle in my life with saying no. But now, I don't have a problem with saying no. I don't have a problem with being honest because I'd rather be honest with somebody because I'm not a good liar. I'd rather be honest with somebody than to not be so honest and have them looking at me crazy. And, you know, it's just, they got to know, people got to know the truth and it's all right to tell them the truth. If you, especially if you, especially if you, if you're not mentally there, because if you're not really mentally there on a job, you're going to do a pissy poor job. And then not only are you going to make yourself mad, but you're going to make the, per the person that you are working with mad. And that's not, that would be, that wouldn't be a good, a good thing because you never should ruin relationships with people. Now, if they coming at you wrong and they, and they, and you are working with them. You know, um, yeah, I can see you may you may have to just go ahead and get on down, and you may have to say some 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 choice words. But if they ain't doing that, and you feel like you can just you know, hey, to talk to them face to face or on the phone and let them know that you gotta go, you know, do that. You ain't gotta be rude. You ain't gotta say nothing crazy. Just be honest. And I've been really, really being honest. The closer I get, the closer I'm getting to thirty, the more honest. I am becoming with people because I used to want, I kind of used to be like, oh, I don't want to hurt their feelings. But at the same time, like my mama told me, 
people don't care about your feelings, so you need to tell them. And that's what I've been doing over the over the past few, few years now. I've been telling people my honest opinion, and sometimes they don't like it. Sometimes they feel like I'm, am, I am mad or, or ungrateful, but that's their problem, not mine, you know. Not it's really it's it really it's really not my problem anymore, you know, and it really never has been. It's just really been about people being selfish, and getting trouble. Really trying to really take the kindness of my work for weakness when it comes to what all I can do and all of what I cannot do. And I'm just really happy that I'm at this place right now in my life that I don't feel bad, I don't feel sad about it, you know. Because sometimes you can be like, damn, I should have never let that person go. Because they was, you know, they was they was good to me. But like I it got like it all rolls back to um is is how much is the pay? Is the pay gonna be good? Is it the pay worth you coming home and your back is hurting? Is the pay is the pay good when you having cramps in your fingers and your your neck and your back and your thighs? Is it worth it? Hell, you working off an empty stomach, barely even eating certain things, you know what I'm saying? Just because you're trying to chase a dollar, is it really worth it? Is it really, really worth it? And don't get me wrong, I know you sometimes you're going to have to go to work when you ain't feeling good. But when you got the option, like I have options, and people know people that know me, they know my personal business on the back end. They know I got options. You know, I'm going to take that option up. <laughs> I'm going to take them, I'm going to take, take a few options, you know. A few options, cause man, it just sometimes it, it just becomes a little bit much for me. And um, I do want to say this too, you guys. I've been noticing a lot on YouTube that it's people on here that's really thinking that they finna get some money or get a good old check quick, fast, in a hurry, like a big, big check. You know, honestly, I feel like people on here chasing the wrong damn thing. Because back in a few back a few years back, it was not too much like this. I haven't seen so many people get online eating. I haven't seen so many people get people people get online, you know, really sharing their cash out like that. Me personally, I don't I don't really too too much care to to, share, to show y'all or to share it. But it's not gonna be on the under every video or or in my titles or anything like that. I don't mm -mm. no. It's I want some authentic see some authentic you know shit to watch and some people and some people that I know that is on here and they're just really sharing their lives. They don't really give a damn about a check. You know what I'm saying? Now <clears throat> don't get me wrong. Hell if you are about that getting that check, hey make sure you make sure you got the right videos. I mean the I mean the, the right um the right quality, you know, for a video because if you don't, people are just gonna they're gonna skip past it. And don't and don't be in the beef sector talking about you wanna change your content because sometimes people would you know, kind of go away from you, and they'll be trying to say, "Oh, we don't care about hearing about your day or your life story." I mean, well, really, some of the things that happen in your life, we want to hear about the beef, and that's why sometimes I have to just kind of cut that cer cut certain things like that out because it's like, damn, hell, you know, I'm not even getting paid. <laughs> you know, I'm not even receiving anything. I did receive a few cash shops, but at the same time, it was it's, it was kind of it's a little draining at at at, at, at times and. I know a lot of you guys may think I have changed. I have not changed. I just had to calm the fuck down because that shit was, ugh. Mm -hmm. It was making me a little irritated at certain, it was making me irritated by some of the things I was hearing, but it also made me say some things that I know I probably would never even say. Not unless, not unless I get, you know, angry, but even when I wasn't angry, when I was just being on here, you know, talking my shit and or maybe had a few glass and you I may have said some some disturbed some disturbing things. You know, I, I was you know, that shit happened happened. I was like, man, Castro, you gotta change that up. You gotta change it up. I mean certain things that I was saying was coming right back on me. And that's something that a lot of people probably won't admit. But that shit will come back on you, boy, so quick. So you gotta watch what you say. You know? But yeah, I just noticed that it it's not a it's a lot of content creators. That's not in our part of the of of the section of the sector, which I don't I don't feel like it's a sector, you guys. I feel like we're just all making videos. Everybody, certain ones are subscribed to each other, and certain ones are not. But I really don't feel like it's a sector. But I just noticed that it's been a lot of people just putting out any damn thing, any just anything. I think people are, and think people actually are going to watch it, you know. And if and if they do watch it, 
how long are they going to be watching it? You know what I'm saying? How long are they going to be watching it? Trust and believe. I done did it myself. I done clicked on a few people's videos, and I'm like, hmm, this is not interesting me. Inter I mean, interesting me, so I'm going to have to click up on off here. You know, i kind of been like that. But now I try to give people a chance, and... <coughs> Oh my goodness! Mm. Oh, I got I got bad re a bad reflex. With you guys, hold up. Oh, mm. hold on. Mm. Hold on. But yeah, like I said, I'm I'm trying to give people a chance and just you know look outside, look 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 other places besides the you know this whole beef and stuff because honestly it, it can get kind of draining and boring, and especially when it's certain individuals that's been saying the same thing about each other for how many you know years or months days or weeks <laughs> you know i'm just like uh i'm over it but on that note you guys i have came on here and said a mouthful and it's time for me to go and you guys enjoy the rest of y'all um weekend if you know it's, even though i know it's over <laughs> but um y'all enjoy the rest of y'all evening and i talk to you guys later on peace